the modern express in the heart of the tumultuous Bay of Biscay, a maritime drama of epic proportions was unfolding. A Panama registered roll and haul off vehicle carrier, laden with 3,600 tons of construction machinery and timber, embarked on a treacherous journey from West Africa to the French port of Le Havre. Let's dive into the remarkable story of the modern express where her fate hung in the balance and the clock was ticking. On January 26, 2016, the modern express encountered a fearsome storm. Heavy seas and towering swells pushed the vessel to the brink. She developed a precarious 40 degree list, losing engine power and leaving her 22 crew members in a perilous situation. The distress signal was sent and a swift response from the French authorities and Spanish search and rescue teams ensured the crew's safe evacuation by helicopter. But the modern express was far from out of danger. Drifting towards the French coast, it became a ticking time bomb, threatening to spill its cargo or even capsize. The clock was ticking as salvage operations swung into action. The French Navy dispatched the emergency tugger Belle Bourbon and the frigate F's Primorgay to the scene. Dutch salvage company Smith Salvage entered the fray, taking on the monumental task of saving the vessel. But it was far from smooth sailing. Adverse weather conditions, high seas, and the ever-increasing drift of the modern express posed significant challenges. By Wednesday, the modern express was drifting at a speed of approximately three knots, situated 200 miles west of La Rochelle, France. Surveillance flights suggested that the vessel's list had increased to a daunting 50 degrees, hinting at possible water ingress or shifting cargo. Salvage teams attempted to attach a tow line to the modern express, but had to abort the operation due to adverse conditions. By the end of the day Friday, the modern express reached 148 nautical miles west of La Rochelle as it continued to drift at one knot. On Saturday, the modern express started to pick up speed as weather deteriorated. Wind was reportedly gusting to 70 km, with seas up to 6 meters, causing the modern express to drift at 2 to 3 knots to within just 120 nautical miles gyrand as of 9 am. At that point, Smith Salvage brought in two additional experts and transferred the injured team member back to shore as they assessed their options. Unfortunately, by the end of the day, the team didn't attempt to tow and at 17.30, the modern express had drifted to 108 nautical miles from Gionde. By Sunday, weather had deteriorated even further, preventing the team from even attempting to board the vessel altogether. By the end of the day Sunday, the ship had reached just 50 nautical miles west of the seaside town of Arcation, France. Monday was the big day. Weather had improved and the ship slowed to one knot as it continued to drift closer and closer towards shore. By 8.30 a.m., salvage teams made multiple valiant attempts to attach a tow line to the drifting vessel, but it seemed like a game of cat and mouse with Mother Nature. Then came a pivotal moment. As the weather improved and the vessel slowed its drift, Smith Salvage's team made their move. They were airlifted onto the ship and connected a tow line to the Tug Centaurus, marking a turning point in the saga. With the Centaurus at the helm, the modern express began its journey away from the treacherous French coast. Spanish authorities granted the vessel a place of refuge in the port of Bilbao, a beacon of hope in the midst of the storm. The success of the operation was a testament to the expertise of the teams involved. 
DNV's Emergency Response Service are forth to guided critical technical expertise, ensuring the vessel's stability. The Modern Express finally found safe harbour in Bilbao on February 3, 2016, concluding this incredible maritime rescue story. The Modern Express's tale is a testament to the resilience, determination and dedication of maritime professionals who safeguard our oceans and global trade routes.